Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. In our last Kafka video, we learned about how to work with the Kafka topics.sh file or script. And you can also see an example of that uh, on your screen right now. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how do we work with the Kafka console producer. We are going to use the Kafka console producer to produce some events or some messages onto a topic we create. So let's quickly get started. But before we get started, now would be a great time to hit subscribe if you have not already. All right, the very first thing we would do is create a, a Kafka topic to which our producer would actually be writing some messages. So uh, here we say Kafka topics.sh. Again, we specify the bootstrap server. Um, we uh, specify the name of the topic and uh, we specify that we want to create this topic. When I hit enter, uh, obviously the topic will get created and yes, it does. If I try to list all of the Kafka topics, I should see my topic, uh, Kafka topic one right there. Yes, so my topic has been created and I can see that with the list option as well. The next thing that we are going to do here is actually start the Kafka console uh, producer. For doing that, we again have a script which is called the Kafka console. Uh, yeah, you can see it right here. This is the console producer. So we run the script and when we hit enter, we see that it does not run but throws a large amount of data at us. So um, let's try to see uh, what are we missing here. So the option that uh, we missed out was specifying the bootstrap server. Uh, now I already told you that the bootstrap server is the server to which our client is going to send the request to so that our client gets connected to the Kafka cluster. But is there also something else uh, we might be missing? Uh, well, definitely. Uh, we can see that the topic name here is uh, required because a Kafka producer will always produce a message or an event onto a particular Kafka topic. So we need to definitely specify the name of the Kafka topic. So um, I would try to rewrite the command along with the other options. So here we have it, Kafka console producer.sh. I specify the address and the port number of the bootstrap server. As well, I specify the name of the Kafka topic, which I want to use, which is Kafka topic hyphen one. I press enter uh, and we see that a uh, little um, greater than sign uh, here. I hope you're able to see it. So um, this console producer is now ready to take user input and uh, whatever input we give it, uh, let's say, um, okay, hello, uh, I am a producer. So whatever input we provide here is being produced as a message into the Kafka topic or you can also say that it is being written into the Kafka topic, Kafka topic one and then it can be read by any number of consumers. We will actually see the consumer part in our next video as for this video we just want to focus on the Kafka console producer. So here we have produced two messages into the Kafka topic one topic. So uh, I want to try one more thing here. So what happens, uh, so I could just hit control C to end the Kafka console producer. Uh, the thing I want to try here though is uh, what happens when I try to produce messages to um, a topic which might not be present. Um, all right, uh, before I do that, let me quickly say Kafka topics list. And I see that the only topics that I have available on this Kafka cluster uh, is um, Kafka topic one. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to produce uh, messages into a Kafka topic which is not present in the Kafka cluster. So let me call it um, Kafka topic new. All right, so I am able to see that uh, this is asking me for uh, an input again. It doesn't throw any error as such uh, as of now. So let me say uh, hello. Hello, uh, and uh, well, we do see a warning. We'll come to that later uh, when I say uh, another message. Hi, hi, uh, nothing happens. Uh, new message. Uh, well, nothing happens. Uh, please uh, pardon my typo with the message here. Uh, now, let me cancel this um, as well. Uh, so what happens when I say Kafka 
topics um, list one more time. Uh, well, we see that Kafka topic new has been created. And um, if you would be checking out uh, the logs as well, you would somewhere see that uh, Kafka topic new got created when uh, we in fact launched uh, this command. Nonetheless, uh, let me go ahead and try to um, describe all the Kafka topics as well. Um, uh, and uh, as you can see that Kafka topic new uh, has a certain node which is the leader for that topic. Uh, but uh, what happens here? So uh, Kafka console producer, when we launched uh, or ran this command, uh, this topic did uh, get created, but the leader for uh, this particular partition for this topic was not elected unless and until a message came to be written on that particular partition of this Kafka topic. So here we see that uh, leader is not available. Uh, so uh, when this error might have been generated, Kafka would have selected uh, a leader for um, this particular partition of this Kafka topic. And then this message would have been written to this Kafka topic. And that is the reason why we see this particular warning right here. Also, one more thing to note here is that this topic uh, would have partitions as specified in the default config for Kafka. So uh, this is just not the recommended way of creating uh, a new topic in Kafka. Uh, we should create a topic using the Kafka Topics API or the Kafka Topics.sh script uh, so that we can specify the required number of replicas, the re required number of partitions. Um, and if we are okay with uh, using the defaults, uh, then it's okay if uh, we want to go uh, with, you know, not having created um, a Kafka topic be beforehand and having it created on the fly when we launch the Kafka console producer. So that's all we had for this short video, guys. Uh, hope you had fun watching and were able to learn something new. Uh, in the next Kafka video, what we are going to do is uh, after having written some messages, uh, by the Kafka console producer into a Kafka topic. We are now going to consume those messages by using the Kafka console consumer. So please make sure to check out that video as well. And if you like the content of this video, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.